Hey everybody, it's Vicki Weber from At Home Author, and today I'm going to show you how you can make a Moby ebook file for your children's picture book 100% free from home. All you need for this tutorial is your interior PDF file that you would use for print, and you need your front cover as a JPEG. Let's get started. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to create our very own ebook to upload to KDP. So first you need to download Kindle Kids Book Creator. If you go to Google, um, it will pop up for you and it is free to download. So once you've Kindle Kids Book Creator downloaded, you're going to open it up and you're going to hit create a new kids book. It gives you some directions here. So should you forget, there is information here for you and you're going to hit continue. You're going to enter your title. So um, let's see, I haven't picked which book I'm going to do, but I'm, I'm just going to call this test so I can delete it later. So you're going to put in your title. You're going to put in your author and you're going to put in your imprint name as your publisher. Mine is Trunk Up Books, language. And then you do want to make sure that you um, have this saved properly to where you'd like it. Um, some people don't like it saving in like the downloads folders. So if you want it somewhere else, you want to indicate where that will be. Now, this is where you need to make some decisions and know what kind of file you're uploading. So for me, um, landscape is important for a children's book um, because portrait is more for those up and down books. And it also depends on whether or not you want a spread to be shown um, or a single page at a time. And that will depend on how your book is laid out. But for most people, they're going to want landscape because they're going to need the spread uh, view. How do you want your page images displayed on a Kindle? Now, here is where you need to understand what kind of file you're uploading. If you are using an interior file from KDP, then you would select two images side by side because every single page is on its own. Um, and so putting them side to side like this would um, actually allow the spread to happen. But if you have them in spread form in your PDF already, then you would select this one. So if your spreads are cut in half in your PDF, pick this one. If your spreads are not cut in half in your PDF, you would pick this one. My spreads are cut in half, so I'm going to do this one. And then 99.9% um, .9 of the time, you're going to select that your book starts on the right side. I'm going to continue. We're going to import cover from a separate file image. Now, if you don't have an ebook cover, which is just your front cover, one of the easiest things you can do is drop it into Canva um, and then just crop it so that the back cover is gone and download it as a JPEG and then you can upload it here. Um, if your cover is the first page of your PDF, then you can select this one and the first page of your PDF will become the book cover. Do not use your print cover as the ebook cover because it looks very silly to have the back cover on the left and the front cover on the right. Um, that is a infamous sign of a self-published author and not in a good way. So now I'm going to hit start adding pages and I'm going to select my inside file. Here's my PDF. And I'm going to wait while it imports. So now that our PDF has imported, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to shrink this so I can see. There we go. Now I can see the full ebook. Now. I can flip through and make sure it looks exactly the way I want it to look. Looks good to me. Now there is a blank page at the end. I can delete this page. Um, you can also add pop-ups. Pop-ups are to make the text bigger while someone is reading an ebook. But all you need to do once you are done adjusting everything that you need to adjust, you're going to come up here to file and hit save for publishing. And that is how you create an ebook file for KDP using a PDF interior for KDP or IngramSpark print. 
And that's all there is to it. If you're on the fence about whether or not you need an ebook to be successful, be sure to check out my video all about the benefits of having an ebook version of your children's picture book. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one to help you navigate the publishing world.